Well, I was going to give you a shot of my kerosene heater that I've converted basically over to burn diesel fuel. And I've had this heater since about 1990. Uh, don't use it a whole lot, but uh, it will warm a building up pretty quick. I used it when I built my house, and over the years I've I've had it and uh, hadn't had really any trouble out of it. Had to clean the filter out a time or two, but other than that, uh, one secret that I wanted to share is kerosene itself for this heater is uh, kind of expensive. And uh, a trick that I've got is uh, you can take diesel fuel and uh, take like four gallons of diesel and mix one gallon of gasoline. Don't mix any more than that, I wouldn't recommend it. But it thins the diesel fuel down enough that it's about the same viscosity as uh, the kerosene. And uh, it's worked really well. I've used it for years, hadn't had any problem. And I uh, just thought I'd share that tip with you. You use your own judgment if you want to do that or not. But uh, anyway, it's worked well for me. I'll fire it up and show you how it works. Well, the heater's been running just for a little bit. Uh, there wasn't any excessive smoking or anything at the beginning of the fire up. Uh, as you can see, the disc is getting nice and red. And it really throws out a pretty good bit of heat and that forced air gets it moving all through the building. Uh, I've used it uh, when I built my house and everything and there wasn't a real diesel fuel smell using that fuel. So uh, anyway, this was the tip of the day from Rusty Glove Box. Uh, Y'all use your own judgment if you want to give it a shot, but I've had good success with it. So this is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.